Mahi Bengaluru podcast and today you're listening to an audio story on public policy making by Dr. Harini Santana associate professor and head of department department of public policy Mahi Bengaluru The magic wand of policy making It was the summer in the history of Bengaluru when the visiting elephants from the Maharaja's palace to the Bengaluru Devasthana temples in Malleshwaram were being decorated to enhance the cultural vibrance of Dashera and their grooming began with a splash in these very waters recalls an elderly resident of the Sadashivanagar locality whom i met late side on a sunday stroll i asked him what attracted him to the famous sanghe tank each morning and evening as he mentioned to me despite his ailing health in answer he took me with him on a small memory trip down the history of bengaluru we landed at the shores of this famous lake in north bengaluru where the cold breeze and a catamaran on a summer evening in the past had attracted the children and adults to the serene lake the vegetation that surrounded the lakeside had offered the shade to survive relax in the heat the water was crystal clear and the parents had not shied away themselves or stopped their children when they tried to drink some of these waters those days the lake had a different name ganda da kotakeri the ganda alluded to sugandha emanating from its waters for the lake received fragrant water from the sandal processing factory adjacent to it those days it had also been deep enough to be elephant swimming and grooming pools and green enough to be a sanctuary for migratory frigivorous bats cut back to the present at the site of the sandal factory are located the government offices and a research institute recalls an octogenarian resident of the area who remembers these tales of the sanghe tank as told to him by his grandparents they used to be the children that enjoyed his summers on the lake side in the late 18s when gandada kotakeri was not merely a lake with urbanized shores but a synonym of livelihoods the fishers who caught and sold their special catches the priests who performed sacred rituals on the banks the residents who depended on it for their daily water and food provisioning needs the artists whom the lake inspired towards their cultural and spiritual awakening the lake was itself a multifaceted personality with a multi environment ecosystem that offered niche space for both humans and non-humans to take a dip and rise back energized by the way envisaged by the kimbagoda's historical model of lake construction transformed into the modern era sanghe tank experts warn that the lake is threatened severely by the loss of its ecosystem services the entry of sewage the changes to the lake shores the urbanization of the lake area and the loss of the social cultural capital of the lakes are some points of concerns that the lake experts have raised the scenario seems similar many lakes of modern bengaluru the lost charms of the garden city where the lake side used to add to the beauty of the landscapes and offer their valuable ecosystem services we then ask now what went missing Was it the pressure of urbanization alone that has victimized these lakes? Can we attribute the pollution alone to the decline in public health of the lakeside residents? The resident historian offered some evidence-based advice when I asked if change was necessary or even if it was possible. He explained that it was not in all summers when the lake acted as a sewage pools and it was not in every monsoon that the lake overflowed hence accordingly to manage the lake it was not important to alter the built infrastructure but more changes were necessary to the mindset 
it led me to think that maybe it is the lack of strong policies at personal as well as governance level would it be possible to adopt to garland policy of judicious end use non pollution of water and ownership of the lake as a public good to restore or preserve the ecosystem services this discussion provided some thought space to arrive at the simple revelation that the times may change but strong policies will help transform the way each generation looks at the natural assets and use them judiciously the word policies become the strong boxes from which different generations of citizens derive their wisdom so where are those lake use policies that went missing down the decades as we travel back into the present researchers and the people who study the importance of environmental and social memories esm in india and around the world agree that public health is intertwined at places where the ownership for environmental quality led to positive development of not only public spaces but also the health of the new generations how then do we implement policy making from the core to extend the utilities to the future a unique methodology is being used by public health experts at presna school of public health manipal academy of higher education mahi manipal they envision tackling the public health issues through the problem based learning pbl approach and the maastricht model of problem solving which has been proven to be quite effective methods to policy making accordingly at the newly established department of public policy of mahi bengaluru campus at yalahanga the focus has shifted to adopting the proven novel framework as a pedagogical approach to policy making what more can be significant to approach the art and science of policy making at the very birthplace of bengaluru's illustrious ruler and administrator par excellence kembagoda as the city grew out of the old yalahanga village he also believed that knowledge was strength and the true spirit of education grew with transparent and just administration on the path to creating modern day administrators and policy makers such visionary ideas on the sector of education led to the foundations of the MA public policy program this niche program places policy making at the heart of the community taking a leaf out of the past it will offer the students a chance to become the new age transformative policy makers whose heart is set upon finding the right evidence and mining the correct data to aid policy making as administrators these students will be valuable asset to local governance processes and invaluable as social decision makers while being trained with experts at mahi the students can find employment with organizations such as niti ayog which help in transformative building of the society academic institutions which refine the research frameworks around public issues think tanks and ngos which works towards achieving the national targets around the sustainable development goals balancing the equation among economy society and the environment as goes the timeless advice education lights the lamp of knowledge and education and public policy is indeed the need of the hour to create unique torch bearers of the light of just development in the form of young minds